Tango! Here Tango! Is. But, oh, my sweet Tango, where are you, buddy? <laughs> I'm at the front, where are you? <laughs> by the way, by the way, I've seen this. Oh, I've there seen you are. This. Hi. Oh, it's so good looking. It's amazing looking. The factory? Look at you, factory. Well, thank you. Thank factor, you. Factory, your king. Uh -huh. oh, wow. Hey, automation, baby. So... Oh. Hey, hey, uh, Tango, question. Yeah. Question, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a question. I'm in bad need of iron ingots. How yeah, do I need, obtain those? You need the iron? Okay, well, it's... Yeah, I, I, I came back to steal some, but but I mean, I can't take from but conveyor belts, but it's like complex. super steely. Yeah, well, I, oh. I can... There's not a great way to get out. I can uh, I can start unloading them on the conveyor belts, and you can start sucking them up if you want, or I could just get some out later. What do you want? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Tango, by the way, I saw a little prezi from you. There is place. a present for you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta like help Thank you so up. much. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, anyhow, Tango. Yes. You had a question to be asked by a question by you. I do. What is the question? I do. So, you know, this whole everything we're doing here is trains. Uh -huh. Trains. We got to get the trains going. So, oh, I'm are we. Oh, yeah. I'm. You're the train guy. Look at you, Oliver. Come on. Don't call me Oliver. I'm, I'm not Oliver. I might look like Oliver, but I'm not Oliver. You're the train master. So, but listen, I, I'm the factory's yeah. ready. I would love to start having some trains rolling in here, like choo choo and stuff, you know, like right around here. Maybe we gotta, I wanna talk to you about like Ooh. how many tracks are gonna come in and how often and how I'm gonna unload all the happiness oh. that's coming in. And I just, I, I just, I need to know so I can start planning. So what, how, do, how do we make magic happen? Hmm. Question is, do we want happy accidents? <laughs> oh, well, hold on now. Accidents between trains or accidents between train and person? Because train. I don't want person. the trains colliding, mm -hmm. but I'm okay with people being run over by trains. Okay, perfect. So I have a solution to this, right? <laughs> okay, okay. We can we can do this the the super organized, super efficient, and super logical way. Okay. Or we can do this the inefficient, unlogical, and chaotic way. And being the pros, we are, you and me, and the rest of the gang, yeah. I think we should pick option numero dos. Yes. Number two. The chaotic crazy yes. way. Absolutely. Yeah. Chaotic crazy thing. So as I thinking of this, okay. let's say we have like one and two, a space in between one and two and three, a space in between one, two, not there, and here. Coming How in. How about having three coming in this way, right? sideways? Uh, yeah. Okay. Some, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in like choo choo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We got out of the whistles. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, okay, and then like I could build like a building around this, so it's like kind of like a garage. They come in or something. Can you? Do you I, want to? I think I do. I think I. I feel like that should be part of the factory. As in, like, yes, they come in under a little garage, unload their bits and everything, and then they just. <laughs> And then, and then it's, it's all the bridge, right? They come in the bridge, and then is it like a loop? Or I have so many questions, Carl. There's so many questions. You know what? I have not figured out anything yet. Besides, we're having free tracks going in. But but I want to do it loopy, uh, semi loopy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be lots of bends, lots of bandage, bandages all over the place, and stuff like that. And it's gonna look super crazy. It <sighs> might work. It might fail. I'm okay However, with that. Yeah, this is gonna be great, boss man. Yeah, this is gonna cost you a little bit. Okay. Okay. What? Well, of course, all right, the Christmas is approaching, and <gasps> look at my feet. They're all cold. Oh, I want my bunny oh, slippers. No! You, you've promised me bunny slippers. You've I been will promising get them for like two years you. now. Oh, I will, it's tradition now. <laughs> it's tradition. I will get them for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> Perfect. What do we have over there, which is up? Functional is that up and running? Oh, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Days, okay, right? let's let's head over. Let's head over. I'll show you. Okay, so let's say this is the first episode of trains, which we got the train tracks in. Let's say they would be going over here around yep. this into 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 oh um, into his monorail bubbles, thing, bu 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 bubbles little thing. We yep. would have like maybe one track in the middle and a little like off track to get your little things being kissed out of the Love it. machine. Love it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Would you mind having like? Would that be a possibility to have like an unloading point on this side somewhere about? Yeah, I think so. How about that? You just decide where the tracks go. I mean, just, you know, leave some space for a little bit of building and stuff here, but you decide where the tracks go and I will uh, maybe, unload maybe the cobble. Maybe somewhere like here. The, the thing is, this is still going to cost you the bunny slippers. The, don't take that don't, free, don't right? Don't you worry. The, those bunny slippers are coming right up. Is this something which is going to be... Be, be over this is B-Dub's nonsense. This is B-Dub's here. Yeah, he, he, he's champion, stealing my right? power. See, yeah. see how... <laughs> he's, not, he's not a rotational power oh. champion, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I mean, you could have just like, had a little water wheel hidden over there. I know. There. Yeah, no, instead he runs like enough. 700 yards of shafts everywhere. <laughs> 
Do you want to do, do, do top kissing? Oh, top loading or unloading me? I'm not sure. I haven't thought about that. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess that that's be. a good idea. Yeah, because we could have like those kissy kissy from better. top, from the side. It would look mm. better. It would look better. I love it. Let's do that. Tango, let me figure this out, okay? Yeah, you, but you lay the, the slippers, trash down and then I'll, I'll load it. How about that? Them. But you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna enable the trains until I get my bunny slippers. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Fair I'm deal. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Give me two days, okay? You got One it. One or two days. You got it. Absolutely. And, and this should be up and running. Can't by the way, wait. by the way, what do you think about this clearing somebody made? I think somebody was busy. Somebody put in like 20 hours of work here knocking some trees down. Uh-huh. 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 And Look at my feet. Do you see any bunny slippers on there? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. No, you don't. No. Because I haven't received any bunny slippers. Will be acquired. All this work. I know. Okay, I know. perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, Tango. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Corrales is getting started on the trains. And guys, I am so excited. We're going to have the trains coming right through here. I got to start working on like an unloading system to unload the trains coming by multiple trains at once and how I'm going to direct everything over to the main bus line here. It's, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it's easy to do, but I want to do it in a fun way. I'm thinking I'm thinking top unloaders, for like, like a crane that reaches into uh, something like that. I don't know. But in the meantime, we've made a little bit of progress here on the factory. We've got the gold ingots and gold sheets both being processed now. They were direct copies of the iron ingots and iron sheets over there. Uh, oh, that reminds me, I got to get I got I to gotta get the placards up there with the, with the, with the things and the thing. And eh, I said, no, oh, closer. There we go. And sheets go there and ingots go there. Fantastic. I love those things. Okay, so while we're waiting for the tracks to come online or to be placed in front of our factory here, I want to start working in this bay here. And this is a big one. This is a huge step forward. We're going to start making brass. Now, making brass is going to be a little bit more complicated, a lot more complicated than many of the other ones. Like I said, everything else has been made from cobblestone. This is the first one now that's going to require secondary input, and that is copper and zinc. Copper and zinc cannot be automated in any way. You have to mine them up. Copper is pretty freely available. Zinc, on the other hand, is pretty hard to come by. But uh, for this one, I, I'm missing a ceiling block there. Brass processing is going to take up quite a bit of space here, uh, and I'm glad I have all this space in the back because we're probably going to use it now to get started the first thing i want to do oh there's that hitch man it is horrible the first thing i want to do is take in any of the things that i need for brass and that is anything that will get us copper or zinc so this is the first time we're going to need to make a attribute filter now this is these are really cool basically instead of just going up to one of these uh brass things you see how i just have like single items in every single one of these right here we can now make a complex filter and put many things in it so that it accepts like a whole bunch of things so i can put like a raw zinc here and then whatever when i put an item in here it gives me all the properties of that item so i can like say i want a list of specific items or i can just give like it can be smelted you know is part of the create mod can be smelted in a blast first all these little weird properties can be added to this filter and ironically enough it's making me realize that i actually want the other kind of filter the this is just like an iron filter or something oh there's just a filter and then an attribute filter so the the regular filter here th this one is for like super complex like generic properties and things like that this one is I can just make like a list of items. So the things I want to accept here are very specific. I want to accept, and that's not duplicating the item, by the way, it's just putting a reference to the item there. It's not cloning it. I want raw copper and raw zinc, of course, and I want uh, azurine and I want viridium. Now I would also, I would also want to eventually accept uh, copper ore and zinc ore. I don't have those, but those would be the six items here that I want to come into this storage here. Hitch this storage right there and this right here this big bulk vault here is very much like it's kind of like my cobble vault just like just get everything into the system regardless of how fast i'm processing it so this is going to hold everything here that can be converted into zinc or copper now regardless of what it is that's coming out of this chute here out of the storage whether it's copper whether it's zinc raw or viridium or azurine or whatever it is with those also make copper and zinc respectively as well it'll come into this grinding wheel here now i'm using a horizontal grinding wheel here because speed isn't as important and i don't need to distribute across three grinding wheels one should be enough so for more space reasons and stuff, we're just sending everything through one grinding wheel here, which looks kind of cool. And what's great about this is coming out of the grinding wheel now, still on the conveyor belt, we're going to get two things. We're either going to get crushed zinc or and or crushed uh, copper, 
or we're going to get experience. And now this is going to be like a little backlog of experience. So the experience comes out and gets sucked up in there. This chest right here is going to be basically a an, an XP bank. Anytime we need some experience, we just come over here and grab some of these little, uh, these guys here, these nugget of experiences. They're amazing. And then all the crushed ore and crushed zinc will go into this chute and fall down there. There is a fan that is blowing across lava and that will essentially smelt the crushed ore and crushed zinc into ingots where that filter right there you can see is set up to accept only ingots boop right into this vault right here oh no 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 no! i absolutely did not just fall into those crushing mills that would be embarrassing can you imagine falling into the crushing mills and dying on your own invention that would that would never happen. And I think we're just about wrapped up here with our suddenly deadly invention. The And this thing right here now is going to be either zinc ingots or copper ingots. They're all going to shoot out here. Well, not all right there. I'll show you. The copper ones are going to go out there. The zinc ones, ingots are going to go out here. Zinc are going to go into that vault right there. Copper ones are going to go down here and try to go to that vault there, but are going to be... Uh, intercepted here, go into the barrel, come out this guy, go on to the depot, get squashificated by the presser and turn them into copper sheets, which are then going to go into this little barrel here. In the end, though, we got three nice little displays here. We have zinc ingots, copper ingots, and copper sheets, all ready to be go, ready, ready to be go, ready to be done and move and stuff. So now we're actually ready to start making brass and just requesting copper ingots and zinc ingots and they'll come down there and go directly into the brass processing stuff. Look at Look you! At I just logged I know, in! Man. I logged in and the train's everywhere in my face! Can you see? So I think we're gonna have two trains to begin with. So this will be... Um, okay, we need to adjust a little bit of things and bits and bobs just to make it nice over here because Look I think we're gonna broke. This no, 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 no! Don't look at this. It's kind of like no, no, no. This, this is, this is, this is, this is not right. It's not right. Those should be connected. No, oh, those should be like this. Oh, look at that rounded bottom uh -huh. edge. Oh. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it is a little bit messed up here and there. It looks a How bit so? chaotic. How but, so? but, but, but you, you, well, if if you use F4 camera, you can just fly around to see yourself. It's, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Okay. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I still want my bunny, bunny slippers. The Daniel. bunny slippers are there. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank this you is so amazing, much. though. Look at you. All the train stations and the blips and the bloops happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the the signals over here, but oh I think. Oh my gosh! You are a a train engineer. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, oh. You're gonna die on there. Don't worry. Oh, it's bad. It's bad, Tango. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I would imagine. My farm. <laughs> <laughs> so do all the trains yeah. have overhead and side kissy kissy? Uh, yes, every train will have okay. kissy kissy on top at the same. So I did align those kissy kissy things over here, as you can see here. So that's going to be the like the, the red wool is where the kissy kissy should be. I right? love it. From side, I might do top. overhead for all of them. This is exciting. Okay, but 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 believe in this, okay? I, I absolutely do believe. I'm incredibly excited. Do I have? Is this like? Are these? Would you say these are final positions? Then do I have permission to uh, start playing the the red wool? That's like a that's a thing. That's what the kissy mm -hmm. kissy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is amazing. I think so. And obviously, the like, shape. this is the train for the cobble, right? And, like, that's what you're going with, right? The trains are going to look like the mm -hmm. thing that they carry. Yes. So this is the cobble uh, cards. Oh, so good. Uh, so and obviously, good. like, the melon farm will have a melon card. Yeah. And food is going to have, like, those closed box cards, I believe. <laughs> I'm so excited. Skadoodle. I'm just waiting for those body slippers, man. <laughs> He did it! He did it! Look at this guy, Corrales! I love it! Look at the trains! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! And, wait for it! <laughs> yes! Oh, I love it! This is amazing! There's a little pig driving with this little pig train to near it! I, I cannot contain my excitement for this mod! The cobble, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a big task coming up and that is to, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm just, yeah. We have a massive task coming up. We have to load, come out of the way train. We have to load our cobble generator. Look, 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 look. It's stopping right there. So we're gonna make a loader there and load up the trains and then we gotta start getting thinking about unloading the factory here and getting everything put onto this master bus line. Oh, it's all coming together. But here's the deal, here's the deal. Uh, Corrales kind of surprised me with all this. I wasn't expecting this. 
It's gonna have to wait till next episode because I have I have other plans that I really want to get through that I'm just as excited about. So next episode will be the train unloading episode. We're gonna have cranes and things spinning around here. It's gonna be glorious. So the plans for today, as you see, we I mean we got the zinc and the copper going here. We're ready to process brass ingots. And I want to fill out more of this. We're gonna do this probably off camera or something, but what we do need is zinc and copper, but mostly we need a lot of zinc. And our little vertical digger here, this tiny little thing, is it's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. So what I want to do today, I want to once and for all make the ultimate digger. I'm going to make a machine that is just going to dig up the entire world. Okay, maybe not the entire world, but it's going to be pretty close. Now to make this world consumer... <laughs> to make this world destroyer, I'm going to need mechanical drills. I'm going to need a lot of them. I'm going to need about 900 of them. And as you can see, we, I mean, we've automated the andesite alloy. We've got the iron. It shouldn't be a problem here. I mean, that isn't a lot of andesite alloy. I'll, I'll be honest with you. The problem here is andesite casings. And I don't know if you remember, the way to make andesite casings is you place logs down you strip them and then you right click on them with andesite alloy and it puts the little thing on it and then you can break them okay this is i gotta i don't want to do that 900 times i mean i could but i don't want to yeah instead we're gonna build this little temporary machine here now i think if i do this it's all i got i got three pokey pokies all po poking together here one of them is going to do let's see hold on, I'm, I'm making this up as we go here i'm really not sure how this works here uh let's see hold on let me break this first we're gonna put let's see we'll do logs first uh i need why are you extended stop that okay there we go we got logs in his hand we're gonna put an axe over here in his hand and this guy is going to be the andesite alloy and i need to whoops i need to set a filter for that too okay now we should be just about ready i forgot the drill too of course so the idea is now this deployer puts out the log that deployer is going to with the axe is going to trim it or whatever it is shave it and then this guy is going to put on the uh the andesite coating and then this guy's going to drill it Technically, this guy's going to start drilling it before him, but it's going to take him time. And all those guys will be able to finish their job, I think, I hope. Uh, we got a little back storage here for andesite alloy and logs. Let's see if it works. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, could this mod be any better right now? Could it be any better? Look, we're making them automatically. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, bah, bah. I need, okay, I need to get some back, uh, back logs here. We'll do that there. We'll do some andesite alloy here. I need to fill that with 900 logs and that with 900 alloy. And we're probably going to run out of access soon, too. Look at this thing go. It's cranking along now. We got plenty of andesite alloy. We got the logs. Logs, thanks to Corrales chopping down the entire forest and I even add a little tiny backlog of iron axes and a filter there and, and these things are being made. I mean, they're gonna be done in no time for science Come on, that's gotta kill me. How disappointing. Come on train. What do you got? <laughs> it punts me. I thought it would just splat me. I'm disappointed. All right, so we're going to build a digger. I've got the materials gathered here. We're going to build a digger that digs horizontally through the terrain. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted something a little bit bigger than what I had, but I also decided that I just, I didn't want to go too big. So I figured I'd keep it nice and small and manageable. Something around that size. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is the teeny tiny digger we're going to go with. <laughs> this thing is going to be digging through the earth. It's going to drive itself. It's going to be amazing. It's going to clean up its inventory as it goes. And I think it's even going to place torches behind it. So on the backside, we're going to build out the frame, add a rail, add the cart assembler. Going to add some deployers there, 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 and there. And of course, they're all upside down flip them all around on the back we're gonna add a plow right there and a drill right there of course we need a whole bunch of chests to store all of our amazingness in and on the far left side we are going to add a whole bunch of these brass filters here okay so how does this thing work i can't
can't stop chuckling. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. All right, it's going to be a self-driving uh, contraption using a minecart that's going to drive horizontally, uh, you know, in a straight line infinitely by placing track, placing cobble where it needs to, picking up the track, powering the track, and doing all that stuff. And like I said, I think we're even going to get to placing torches in a second here. So the idea now, okay, we're going to be using, instead of using a coal furnace, which uh, a coal furnace minecart, which most use, we're going to use powered rails, okay, to keep it going because it's going to actually power it forward faster, which makes the drills go faster, which makes it dig even faster. So the first three deployers, they're two in line with the cart and one off to the side. Those are all configured to place cobble. So basically, if this thing starts to go across the ravine or something, we obviously don't want it to plummet or stall out. So that will attempt to place cobble and like make a path for the contraption as it goes down, you know, as it moves forward. Obviously, 99% of the time it won't need to because it's going to be stone or rock anyways. But for any gaps there are or lava pools or whatever, it will place cobble and uh, allow it to keep going. These two back here, okay, these are a little bit different. This one right here, the one underneath, this is laying powered rails, okay? And this guy here is laying, as you can see, redstone blocks right next to it to power those rails. Now, we could have used redstone torches, it would have been cheaper, but eventually, like, the water is going to come, and this is going to be crazy. There's going to be water and lava every, everywhere, and it would have it would washed out the torches. So we don't want that, so that's why we went with blocks there, okay? As the cart goes forward, the plow here will scoop up the rails, and anything that gets scooped up by the plow gets put back into the inventory system uh, on the contraption. So basically, we have an infinite loop of place the rails, scoop them up, place the rails, scoop them up. So there's only, like, two or three down at a time. Uh, and the same thing is going to happen with the with the redstone blocks here too as they go there's gonna be like three redstone blocks here powering the rails but eventually this drill is going to uh, drill them out and loop those back into the system oh i almost forgot we gotta add a seat for me to sit on and die on this machine now one of the nice features i want on this one is what we got going on here i'm going to configure all of these brass filters i'm going to set a filter on them but predominantly cobble but it's gonna be like cobble and diorite granite andesite and all that stuff everything i don't want from the digger is just going to be pooped out right here and left behind so that our chests are going to be just refined everything we want and nothing we don't my concern is it's going to leave behind a lot of items a lot of items and i don't know what the lag is going to be like we shall see yeah unfortunately there's no way to destroy items i can eject the items out here but there's no way like lava does not move with the contraption there's no way to move fluids with the contraption i can't move a cactus with it even if i did it doesn't count as a cactus because it's not a block it's an entity so it won't destroy things i tried cauldrons with lava in it and it doesn't work so basically there's no way to break these items or destroy these items in instantly as they're being pooped out here. I was hoping to, but I think we're just gonna have to leave them behind. Okay, for real, this is the most genius thing I've ever seen. I did not think of this. This is the torch laying system. Now, obviously you don't wanna lay a torch down. Like I could just put torches in, in the filter and it'd be like, blah, 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 blah. you would just drew a line of torches for everywhere. But that's a whole lot of torches. We don't need to do that. Ideally what we would do is put a torch every so many blocks. And what I wanna do is put like a torch there and then another torch back there. Because that, if you look at the light levels, it's just just about right where they're where they need to be for you know for the optimal light coverage so this is the brilliance right here we're gonna set a filter here okay and the filter is going to take torches and some arbitrary block that we could never mind in this case it's gonna be uh red concrete okay this filter will try to place both of those items whichever one is available first it will grab so we're gonna place the red concrete right here now there's 24 red concrete there are 25 blocks between these lines here okay because this chest was placed first it's going to see the red concrete first because it's right there torches i just placed this chest and this is going to be it's going to be checked later here's all my torches right here okay so what's going to happen is as this thing is skadoodling along as this thing is moving along here it's going to be oh hold on, let's put the filter in there now Going. okay it's gonna say like hey i need a block hey i need a block hey i need a block and it's gonna keep finding those red concrete blocks and it's gonna keep putting those red concrete blocks down right here okay until there's no more red concrete blocks and it's gonna go mm, okay give me the next best thing give me a torch boop it's gonna put a torch down all right and then all that while the red concrete is all along this guy right here Right when the last one is placed, right when that torch is placed, there's going to be red concrete here, and he is going to dig that red concrete up, thus cycling the red concrete back into the system. Now, the best part about this, though, is the drill can dig up the red concrete. It cannot dig up the torches, so it'll leave the torches behind. 
It's it's a pretty brilliant spacing system. I didn't think of it. I wish I did. And of course, we just don't want a single line of torches. We want to cover the entire massive tunnel. So we got five of these and they are staggered again for optimal light coverage. One, two, three, four and five. So the only thing left to do now is glue this thing all together. And I got to be super careful in doing this. I don't want to don't want to mess this up, but we're going to make sure we get the whole thing. And uh, I might also need a flywheel right there. Now, all these brass filters here are very important because they can basically access any inventory on the contraption. So they can access magically those chests over there. So as we dig up like cobble and stuff that we just don't want, uh, because we have a much better way of getting cobble and I don't want to deal with it. Uh, I put these filters here, right? So all of these are for cobble because we're obviously going to be getting a tremendous amount of cobble. So all of these guys are going to be pooping out cobble. And we've got all these other filters set for a bunch of other blocks that we basically just don't care about or don't want. And obviously this is going to grow over time. I'm going to like evaluate what items I'm picking up and be like, yeah, I don't want that. If so, I just come over here and pop out a cobble and put in one of the other filters or something or take out something if I want something. We'll see. All right, it is the moment of truth. The entire thing is glued up, I hope. I hope we'll see. I had to go make another container of glue because it required that much glue. Let's uh, let's pull this lever now and see if the <laughs> it plowed the earth. Fantastic. Let's see. Did it all lift up? I want to make sure that we have gaps everywhere. Excellent. All this got picked up. Wow. Shockingly, I think we look good. All of this is going up and down. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Uh oh. Oh, that should not be used. Oh, that needs a filter. Uh, uh, that need. Wait, why is that? Oh yeah, duh, right, right. Of course, of course. Red, red concrete. I picked up the red concrete from here. Oh, he grabbed a torch first. That's not good. Why, why, why you grab torch? It must've got it from somewhere else. I have no idea. All these stacks are full. I have no idea where it got it. It must have like an internal. Okay, there we go. I dropped it and repopped it back. I think it must've had some torches in it's like internal inventory or something. But we're good now. We've got all the crazy blocks that are going to be the spacers for the torch laying. So I believe we are all set to lift it up and grab the entire machine. Make sure nothing was left behind. It looks like it looks like we got it all. I'm going to put this thing right in my inner chest because it is very valuable. And now the only thing I have to do is go find a spot to start doing some massive digging. I mean, I guess this is good enough. I almost definitely, definitely forgot something and I'm gonna have to go back and get it, I'm sure. But I'm in the middle of a cave of supreme bravery and uh, we're gonna get in places down and obviously it's bigger than this hole, but all it does is destroy the blocks that it is it intersects with. So I think we'll be fine. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna open up a gap and a creeper's probably gonna go in and blow the whole thing up. You know, wouldn't be the first time. Boo! Okay, torches. Okay. Okay, no. What do I? What do I even do? Is this okay? Uh, what is that? Why is that all crooked? That's weird. Uh, okay. Deploy mode attack. That's not good. Let's do we right click this? Yes. Okay. We want use. Let's make sure these are all on use. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that would have been horrible. Think I need a redstone block just to kickstart this thing to power some of the stuff. I had to dig over to the chest there. All right. Let's go. <laughs> this is so this is so ridiculous. No, nothing good happens from this. All right. I mean, let's see what happens. I think I give a little boop and, and we go. Boop, boop and go. Oh, wait, I got to lever it first. Hold on. Lever, lever. I got to lift it. Lift and, and go. Boop. Extra boop. Come on. Try this again. I want to I want to lower it and see. OK, that one's wrong. That one's, nope, don't spin. Go on that. Okay, you wanna be on use, use, use. You don't have rails. You need to rail up there, cowboy. Try again, I guess, we'll see. Okay, it, it did a thing. We push. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh my gosh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna so die. Hold on, I'm gonna stay back here a little bit. I think it's working. Torch and go. Torch and go. Look at this. Oh, it's just digging out the most massive hole ever. The spacers are in. This is terrifying. Oh, I didn't think how dangerous this would be. Okay. I 
Uh, the redstone is working. The, gr the drills are drilling. The things are going. The creepers aren't on my head yet. Okay, there's a lot of water over there and a lot of XP. Oh, all the bits are being dropped. That's good. Look at all the things being blooped out. It's not fast, but I mean, it's got to dig out sit like in this wall of death. It's very, very dark. Come on, torches. Kick in. Eventually, we should see. There it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no, it's going to dig up my inner chest. Give me that. Okay. Phew. Saved it. I want to see now if we get. It should place a torch. Hi. 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 It should place a torch. Did it? Did it? Oh, it did. It placed the torch. And go back to. Oh, that's amazing. The count was actually correct. Okay, it's placing torches. I'm so excited. This is bonkers. We got double torches here. That's not good. I don't I don't so much care about the torch placement right now. Oh, that's lava down there. Oh, it looks like we double torched over there too. Not good. Yeah, we're, we're double torching in certain places here. Interesting. I'll, maybe the count is off, I think. I probably just got to change the number of blocks in there. But that's fine for now. That's such a minor tweak. Lava does not break contraptions. So I think it's pretty much safe to go right through a pool of lava. I mean, we'll find out, of course. Oh, okay. I see the problem. It's placing the torches because there's nothing below it. It's placing the torches on the side. And therefore, when the digger comes up and breaks that block, the torch is just breaking. So this is flawed when there's no floor below it. I cannot believe this is working. What a massive cave we've already dug. <laughs> just so much garbage left behind, but that's a good thing. I don't want all that. I just want the good stuff. And that's all we got in our chest right now, I believe. All right, we're going to let this roll for a while. See what happens. Uh, we must have went through a spawner or something. Wow. Okay. All oh, right through the amethyst geo. Oh, take it. Just yeah. <laughs> it stopped. Why? Why you stop? Why? Why? You should be going. Go more. Do I need to boop you? Oh, uh, okay. Didn't see that coming. It could not place a cobble block there because that. But obviously you can't lay rail on that either. That's a that's a thing that we'll have to watch out for. I know it's super dark, but look at the wall of teeth just devouring. This is crazy. You can just see like the, the rails being laid and the redstone blocks being laid adjacent to it to power them being drilled up. So these basically we're just cycling three redstone blocks through the system here and like three rails through the whole system here. Yeah, we've dug quite a tunnel already. Oh, excellent. You can see here there was a hole in the ground. It placed some cobble right there to get over it. I like to see that. Okay, okay. I, I got to stop it. I got to see how we're doing here. Let's uh pick you up go there we go there we go okay oh my gosh look at the tunnel i can't even see the other end of this massive tunnel i suppose the downside to this torch laying thing is when you're done you've got to go pick up all these spacer blocks of course eh, it's not that big of a deal okay after 10 minutes of digging out this massive tunnel i've organized everything and this is what we got we got a lot of calcite a whole ton of amethyst i don't even know how many nodes we drove through Lots of coal. Those are coal blocks right there. Over here, we've got... Look at the raw iron. That, I mean, that's, again, blocks. That's 11 times... Not, that's a lot of stacks. A ton of lapis. And this is the big guy. This is the one we wanted, the zinc. 49 blocks of raw zinc. That's pretty good. And we got a couple uh, a couple of music discs. So oddly, I seem to have lost some items in the uh, in the process. Here's some of my pacer items or spacing items for the torch thing. I'm wondering if those are like in the actual deployer hands or something. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, by the way, we got some copper too. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. We've got trains in. We built the ultimate digger. We got some brass processing stuff underway. Next episode, we're definitely going to do some unloading action here. We'll probably run our digger a little bit more. Maybe play with some trains. Who knows? Oh, and for those of you wondering where Hermitcraft might be, stay tuned. It's coming up.